I love sports, and my dream was always to work in the sports industry. Right after I graduated from Quinnipiac, I wrote to a ton of sports teams looking for that in. I even flew to California for the Major League Baseball winter meetings, trying to make connections and looking to land a job. I made an acquaintance with someone from Major League Baseball and thought he would open up a bunch of doors for me. When I got to the winter meetings, I realized that just wasn't the case. No matter what I did, I kept getting met with rejection. I had set out to make an impression, but unfortunately was met with disappointment. I wasn't sure I'd make it, but my parents always taught me to never give up. I'm Marlon Lewinter. This is my story. When I was nine years old, my dad hurt his knee and had to go to rehab. His physical therapist also treated members of my favorite sports team, the New York Islanders. It was so surreal seeing the same players that I admired on the ice hanging out and talking to me. From then on, I knew I wanted to work in sports and just be around athletes. When it came time for college, I decided that Quinnipiac was the best place for me, and I joined the School of Communications. I thought QU was perfect. It was close to New York and close to Boston, two of the biggest sports markets in the country. From the moment I stepped on campus, I got involved with student government, anchored the campus news station, and even wrote for the school paper. The more involved I got, the more I was learning. Professors like Bill Schweitzer, who was announcing for the Minnesota Twins minor league team in New Britain, invited me to shadow him. I don't think you find that hands-on experience at many other universities. I started giving up weekends with friends so I could intern at places like the Bridgeport Sound Tigers and WVIT. I even spent the summer with News 12 Long Island and the legendary Bob Wolf. During spring of my senior year, the New York Islanders made the playoffs and were looking for volunteers. I offered to drive down from Quinnipiac. The money didn't matter. I just wanted to get my foot in the door. The experiences I had at Quinnipiac and the relationships I built along the way introduced and guided me towards public relations. PR and sports became my passion, and connecting the two came naturally to me. Things worked out. I never gave up, and I walked away from the baseball winter meetings with over 35 new business cards and new connections. I maintained those relationships, and it got me to my first job working at a PR agency in New York City. Those first few years, I moved around to a couple of agencies, gaining experience consulting with major brands like Vitamin Water and Reebok. Then I eventually moved on to Under Armour for nearly a decade. We're gonna go down this way to the Red Room. That's I decided cool. I wanted to try the athlete yeah, side of the business. Is. I got a job working with the legendary Venus Williams, helping build her clothing line and interior design brands. And after a while, I was ready for that next challenge. So I started my own shop, Energize Media. And my first client was the American Cornhole League. Over the years, I've helped them grow, creating celebrity events, bringing Cornhole more mainstream, and even bringing on board a few of their sponsors. This has transformed you into a Cornhole superstar. I am incredibly proud of how far we've come being broadcast on outlets such as ESPN and CBS. My portfolio has grown to include brands such as Celsius Energy Drinks, the Disc Golf Pro Tour, and a number of nutrition and athletic wear companies. I wake up every single day loving what I do, constantly pushing myself to go further. I came to Quinnipiac looking for a career in sports, and I gained experience, connections, and a passion for public relations that I can apply to any industry. I was an eager graduate looking for my big break into the world of sports, and now I'm the CEO of my own public relations company. I'm Marlon Winter, and that's my story. <laughs>